Hello, Citronelle, and welcome to a few announcements that will help you stay up to date about what's going on at CHS. The upcoming dates to pay senior fees are January 18th, February 1st, and February 15th. Right now, the cost of a senior fee is $65, but if you wait until February to make a payment, the cost will be $70. You do not have to pay the entire fee at once. You can make payments each time. As long as you have made a payment, the price will stay the same. If you have not signed up to receive text notifications from Ms. Pippin, you are missing important information and reminders. Please send the message at chsenior17 to 81010. If you need a senior checklist or calendar, you can find it on the school website under the form section, or you can see Ms. Pippin for a copy. CHS will be hosting the ACT in February and April. The next ACT to be administrated at CHS is February 11th. The deadline to register for the exam has already passed. If you registered to take this exam, you will need to meet in the front atrium near the office no later than 7.30. You must bring a photo ID along with your ticket. ACT mailed your ticket, but you may also print it by logging on to the ACT website. You will not have the time to print your ticket that morning, so make sure you already have it when you arrive. If you miss registration for the February ACT, you can sign up for the April exam. Registration for that exam is March 3rd. If you have questions about registration, you can see Ms. Thomas or a counselor for more information. The ACT is important if you are going to college, so make sure you know the requirements and sign up in time. The CHS academic team begins its 2017 high Q season this month. The first high Q competition is a home match on Tuesday, January 24th. We will be hosting BC Rain and Bryant. The match starts at 9.30 a.m. and everyone attending will need to be seated by 9.20. Juniors and seniors are invited to attend with permission from their second block teacher. Teachers, if you have a mixed class that includes freshmen and sophomores as well as juniors and seniors, please email Mr. Reed. If you have junior and senior classes, please accompany your students to the match. Good luck to our academic team during your high Q season. If you are a junior and you want to be on prom committee, here are some things you need to know. Only juniors can be on prom committee. You must attend all prom committee meetings, participate in all the fundraisers, and help sell tickets for prom. You will need to help with decorations before prom and help clean up after prom. If you're interested in being on the prom committee, there will be a meeting in Ms. Orso's room during first block, Wednesday, January 18th. If you meet all the requirements for prom committee, you will receive a free ticket. All 10th grade students will take the ACT Aspire. The Aspire tests student skills in reading, math, science, English, and writing. Students will be tested by homeroom beginning April 3rd and ending May 12th. This test is an indicator for how well students will score on the ACT plus writing that will be taken during junior year. CHS will provide interim assessments to help students prepare for the official exam. The next round of interim exams will begin January 12th and end March 31st. If students need more help, they will receive intervention and remediation. The scores from this exam are used to determine the school's report card and will affect future policies required by the school. We ask students to make every effort to do well on these exams and ask parents to support these efforts. All seniors will be taking the ACT Work Keys this semester. Work Keys is a work readiness indicator exam in the areas of applied math, reading for information, and locating information skills related to the workplace. The testing period for Work Keys is January 24th to February 28th. Specific testing dates will be based on students' home rooms. Seniors will also have the opportunity to practice the exam beginning January 5th and ending once all home rooms have had a chance to practice. For students going directly into the workforce after high school, work key scores may be used by companies during the application process. Also, these scores are used to determine our school's report card, which decides whether or not our school is a failing or passing school by state standards. There are four scoring levels, bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. Students who score silver or higher are considered career ready and earn a benchmark for career, college and career readiness standards. We hope these announcements have made you aware of important info and events. Our goal is to make at least one video a week. 